the science guy. Cancer. It's a very deadly disease that takes the lives of many, many innocent people, including the ones we love. It's actually a very sad fact that an element of the periodic table, known as cadmium, actually is a cause of cancer, lung cancer to be specific. What I gotta say about that is that an element on the periodic table called gallium actually finds cancer in the, in the human's immune system. Well, did you know that indium stop, stops cancer? What, in general, you mean? Yeah, in general. Hmm, let's get into the first element then. Um, the first element up for discussion, cadmium. Its atomic number is 48, and it weighs 112 and 411 thousandths in atomic mass units, or AMU, for an abbreviation. And its chemical, sim chemical sim symbol excuse me, is CD. And as you can see here, this is what your average cadmium particle would look like, and it has a total of 48 electrons, 64 neutrons, and then also 48 protons. And then, as you can see, it has these layers surrounding the nucleus in the center. The first layer has a total of two electrons, the second has eight, the third one has 18, the fourth one also has 18, and then the fifth one is back to two. And so, the period basically describes how many shells it has, five. So, it would be, it would be split into a category with, say, another atom that had five shells around it. So that's basically how they classify them, depending on their, on, on their period. And then in, on the periodic table, it's in column number 12, which is it's arranged based on what chemical and physical properties it has in common with other elements. And, it, and its family it belongs to is known as the transition metals, which are the two valence electrons, where and the valence electrons are the two on the outside that help define the family. So now, the chemical properties of cadmium. Cadmium, it does not react to water, but it does react with oxygen, and it reacts with most acids. And, and cadmium is very acidic. Say, so if you were to eat it, you would, you would most likely die, basically. And it's resistant to corrosion, and it's actually, it's a, that's actually a use for it, which I'll explain about later. And its oxidation state is plus two, and it is not flammable as a solid, but as a powder, it is flammable, which can, which can produce toxic fumes that would also, in turn, kill you. And its physical properties are its luster. It's very soft. You could scratch it with your fingernail. Its melting point is 321 degrees Celsius, or 610 degrees Fahrenheit. And its boiling point is 765 degrees Celsius, or 1,410 degrees Fahrenheit. And its density is 8.65 grams per centimeter cubed. So cadmium is found naturally in the Earth's crust as a mineral. And it was, it was first discovered in 1817 by a German chemist named Frederick Strohmeyer. And it's very poisonous to any living organism. Like I said earlier, if you eat it or inhale it, you'd most likely eventually die. So where is cadmium found, and what are its uses, you say? Well, it's used in rechargeable batteries, such as in phones. When you plug it in, the battery is recharged, the battery drains, you just plug it in, it recharges back up. And it's also found when you're smoking a cigarette, and it's been found in certain foods, such as, such as shellfish, liver, and certain kidney meats. And it's been found when coals have been burning, and also in contaminated water and it protects things like steel from corrosion. I'm gonna use this again, because there are probably, there are most likely some steel plates in here, I'm sure, where they, where they can't get rusted if, say, like, you spilled something on it. And so they probably spread some cadmium on it, and it just protects it from being rusted and corroded. And in the past, in the past, cadmium has been used for, for, in red pigments to dye, to dye things red, orange pigments, and yellow pigments and it's also been used in nuclear reactors to make rods that control the atomic fission that is produced. I think that's enough cadmium, so let's move on to the next element. To follow up on Matt's statement about cadmium, gallium was found in 1875 by a French chemist named Paul-Emilie Le Coq de bois -Bahon. He found out that gallium had 69.723 AMUs, or atomic mass units. He found out that the gallium atom had four shells, and each shell had a different amount of electrons inside it. 
In the nucleus are 31 protons and 39 neutrons, and there are 31 total electrons in the shells. In the K shell, or the first shell, there is two electrons. In the second shell, or the L shell, has eight electrons. In the M shell, or the third shell, has 18, sh 18 electrons. And in the third and final shell, or the N shell, has three electrons. Now what this means is that it's in the fourth period on the periodic table, which means that it has the same number of atomic shells in that period. And he also found out that it's in the 13th column, which, has, which means that everything inside that column has the same valence electrons, which are the electrons on the outside or that are or on the end shell. But the family is in other metals. And what does it mean? Well, in the family, it means that they all are opaque, high density, ductile, malleable, and a solid. Now some physical properties of gallium is that its color is like a silver, it's very, it's very malleable, and its melting point is at 85.604 degrees Fahrenheit. Its boiling point is at 4357.4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a lot. And density is, its density is 5.1 grams per cubic centimeter. Some chemical properties of gallium is that it's mostly used for its exothermic reaction. It's highly reactive to light, but it, yet it has no radioactivity. Small doses of gallium can leave no harm to the body, but large doses can lead to pulmonary edema and even partial paralysis. Its original form in nature is a solid. Its solid texture is brittle in nature. It's found in the Earth's crust, but yet it cannot be found in its free form. It has to be found in coal, dyspore, and germanite. Examples of gallium is that it's used in calculators. Like I said before, it absorbs, it's highly reactive to light, so it will absorb the light to power the calculator. Another example is that it, it's used to uh, power wristwatches. It uses the light from outside sources to power the watch. And then there's, there's also LED light bulbs. They use it to output the light so the input of energy goes in, and then what we see is from the light is the gallium burning off. And then uh, a, another example of gallium is a mirror, because since it's so highly reactive to light, it sometimes bounces off. So the light that we see coming into the mirror bounces straight off, and that's how we see it. And then another example is that it's used in glass. It has small traces of gallium in glass, and it's also used in an atomic bomb. It's used to suppress the plutonium from the plutonium from splitting apart. Fun uses of gallium is that it can melt in its hand. Off dispensers, indium. A penny is an everyday item that contains a certain element called indium. Indium was discovered in 1863 by Verdon Reach and Hermes Theodore Richard by melting sulfur ore and the residue that was left behind after melting the ore was indium. Indium is in the fifth row of the periodic table and has five outer shells. It's in the 13th column and is classified under other metals. Its atomic number is 49 and it has an atomic mass of 114.81 and its symbol is IN. It has 49 protons and it has 66 neutrons in its nucleus. It also has 49 electrons, which is spread out in the first, in the first circle has two, the second one has eight, three and four have 18, and the fifth one has three. Indium, indium is also used to make pennies, duh. It's also used to make alloys, LDs, L, LCD screens, or as a conductor. It does not have any biological role to sustain life with any organism. But it is used for medical purposes like to treat cancer and to stop it from spreading to bones. It is also used in dietary supple supplements, which help prevent aging, boost the immune system, increase hormone production, increasing absorption of nutrients. However, in high quantities and if it's inhaled by the mouth, 
and may cause damage to the kidney, liver, heart, and other organs. And breathing in vapor will cause damage to the lungs and even may cause irritation to the skin. Indium is not a metal that really catches on fire or explodes unless it's in a dust or power form. It boils at 2000 degrees Celsius, which can only be treated by the thermosphere, which is up in space. It melts at 150 degrees Celsius, but by using an oven, but if you turn, but you turn indium into a vapor, it will kill you. Its texture is soft, it's bendable, it's shiny, it has a silverish white color, it has polarity and conductive pro properties. It smells bad and it's heavy at a density of 7.31 grams centimeters cubed. Indium is a naturally occurring element of a solid found in copper, zinc, lead, and also be, be made by factories by smelting ore. Its pure form can be found in Russia, but is rare, and Canada is the world's largest production of indium. Additionally, it is used to make screen wires for computers and TV, other types of wires, rods, field metals, and foils. This is an indium atom. The, the circle parts are the outer shells. The silver plate in the middle is the nucleus. The red dots are the protons. The green dots are the neutrons. And the white cotton balls are the uh, electrons. This, when I look at this, if you take off the flags, this kind of reminds me of an eye or a solar system. And yeah. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, hope you learned something today. Have a great day. Goodbye. 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 It's very sad that one of the elements of the periodic table, known as cadmium, is known to cause cancer. I can't! <laughs> cancer. It's a very serious disease. It's very deadly. It causes very, very much innocent. <laughs> very, very much. the ding dong! I know this cadmium actually causes cancer. Okay, you can't just- Yo, I- you screwed it up! ...cause of cancer. Here's what I gotta say to that. You didn't scroll it down! Hmm? <laughs> 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 Alright. Did you know that the element of the periodic table, gallium, actually finds cancer in the human's immune system? Well, did you know indium actually helps stop the spreading? <laughs> <laughs> I tripped on Matt's butt. I'm in a periodic table known as can, known as can. Yeah. Darn it, can can. <laughs> known as Canfield. Canfield. <laughs> 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 I gotta say to that. Hmm? Did you know? Dang it, you moved it. <laughs> uh, did you know this lets her move the thing? Cancer. A very deadly disease that. that nah, nah, nah. Darn it! <laughs> Is cancer in the human's immune system? Well, did you know that it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a. <t> <laughs> On the thing. What did you do? <laughs> when I went, when I went like this, I wept. No, I stopped the recording. Like, oh, Spell cadmium. <laughs> cadmium. Cadmium. I never heard of this element called cadmium. Cadmium. Cad cadmium. 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 Mess up. So cadmium. A cat. Cadmium. A French chemist named Paul Amélie Le Coq de Bois Bachon. I can't even say it. Turn it. <laughs> Following up on Matt's statement about cadmium, right? It's cadmium. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Following up on Matt's statement. Oh my God! You said go. No, <laughs> you were like, no, I. Go. I said it under my breath. I didn't expect you to hear it. <laughs> to fuck darn ass. It's so late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you hit the phone.
Paul. <laughs> it didn't matter. Did you move the camera angle? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> outer shell of the of the gallium atom. And uh, oh my god, this is a dog. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 1975 by a French cat. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Spencer, you messed it up. <laughs> I just saw a shadow over there just like <laughs> I can't Oh. <laughs> Get away from me. Some examples of chemical... I forgot what it was. Chemical examples? Chemical, chemical properties. Chemical properties. <laughs> Some chemical exam... <laughs> I still want to <laughs> By Ferdinand Reich and Harris Theodore Richard by melting sulfur ore and the residue left behind was. <laughs> oh my god. You talked like, a, you talked like a robot. It's 49 electron. I what? forgot the atomic mass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This just in Timmy's forgotten the atomic mass for his project, for his presentation. I was. Reach and her in this. That black. Heard of this. And our What? <laughs> we, can't, we can't see the thing. Yeah. Oh. This is this is a 3D model of, of the Indian atom. It, it, the Indian? Like, <laughs> Indian. No, the Indian atom. Indian atom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. We target. I can't even like. <laughs> Thank you for watching this today. Hey! <laughs> Why'd you say hey? Thank you for joining us today. We hope you had a... learned something today. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a... I, I was... Thank you for joining us today. Hey! We... <laughs> <laughs> you did it again! <laughs>